when your suspension fails, you have this little yellow Tesla with up and down logo. See how high this sits right now? Now it's up. So the whole thing is off the ground. Has tons of clearance. All right, now, so what I fixed is, so this right here was right over here, underneath the, this panel here, which is easy to remove. This is the bolt that was holding it. It was leaking right over here. What I did, obviously you can see, I put this brass fitting here and made sure nothing is touching, look right over here. Make sure this line does not touch the aluminum. Make sure it doesn't touch anything. This right here is just, a, it's gonna be mounted, so it's not gonna touch it. It has uh, little marks where the clip's gotta be. Like, see this one right here? And everywhere the line is, there's marks where the clip's gotta be. Make sure it doesn't touch anything. Because a lot of people had problems with hoses touching here, like the aluminum or something else. It would rub against something made whole. So, right now it's routed, so it's not gonna do it. I was kind of afraid about this one here, but I bent it back a little bit, so now it's it's all good. It was a little bit of a close up here. All right, so <clears throat> then when I did all this, nothing really worked. Uh, this is your pump. There's your solenoid block right here. That's what controls the suspension. Uh, it wasn't working. The car dropped to the ground. We had to drive it like this for a while just to get here so what are you gonna check when this happens there's two boxes right here, uh, two fuse boxes right here I could open this up okay so this fuse right here the 25 and this is f36 fuse I think it was this one it's either this one or this one but uh, it's the last fuse I think it's this one here I don't remember exactly but look for f36 this fuse was uh, I checked it, it was good now, next thing you're going to check is your relay. This is the relay. It's K11. That's controlling the air suspension. So what I did is I just flopped these two. Also, you can take the relay out. I'm not recommending doing it, but that's how I checked that my pump is working. I just took, actually, I'll show you how to do it. I'm not gonna take it out because I gotta reset the system. When you take this relay out, I'll show it on this one here. I don't wanna touch the suspension anymore. So, see the, the copper contacts is your power, which is right over here. If you jump these two, you're gonna create a you're gonna create a connection. That's what this thing does essentially. When power from the battery goes to these two contacts, this one and this one, these two cellular ones, plus and minus, what it does it connects these two. So in a normal state, it's disconnected, as you can see in the little picture here. See, it is disconnected right here. When you get power to contact 86 and 85, you get 12 volts to it. It will connect to 87 and 30, which is this these two guys here you can put a paper clip in here and you're gonna make the connection yourself um, I recommend using thicker wire with the spade terminals but if you don't have it paper clip will do just don't do it for long so I took this relay out this one here I took it out and I put a paper clip and this thing ran so I knew it's working Tesla said they had to replace the compressor and uh, I think I have the invoice I'll show you they had to replace the compressor and the, and the solenoid block. These two things I just showed you. What happened to mine is my theory, since we came from, since we came from Florida to Illinois, we had a leak before. This thing was leaking for a while. So it was sucking in Florida air with humidity. It, it filled this tank and the whole suspension was filled with humid air. What happened is it was really cold when we were coming up and I think this thing just froze up. 
it just throws up that's it this block that controls the suspension every every single shock it just throws up so when this happens if your car drops to the ground get into the heated garage and you could try actually put a like a, a, a hair dryer on that block because today you know I fixed it yesterday but today only today started to raise up so and it's like 50 today so it's I guess it froze that's my theory on that so they do freeze if you have a leak the original Tesla manual says this has to be filled with nitrogen and what pump does it pumps back and forth into the tank it's not supposed to take anything from the outside because it's contaminated air that's what they say luckily uh, we're in Illinois right now it's really cold so there's no humidity but this right here is for this contaminated air it just sucks it out from here but when it sees there's a low pressure it has to switch into a pumping mode to pump the tank up and that's what happened in Florida because the car was in Florida for a long time it was really hot and it was pumping out humid air it's humidity accumulated and it goes to the lowest point usually which is right here hold the water I think I had water in there and that froze up so that's why we had a problem with suspension and pump try to pump I guess it just couldn't do anything because this thing wasn't opening properly so it just stopped and it said the pump failed I have a plan to replace this back with the tube fitting and actually fill it with nitrogen I just have to ch uh, check for leaks and stuff make sure there's no leaks in the system and I'll actually replace it back with with the proper tube fitting and I might have to extend the line because it's getting shorter because I had to cut it a little bit anyways that's my theory it works now uh, if you want to check for leaks you'll be checking right there every connection there's two connections here two connections there one connection here one one on the tank see that black hose that's the only connections you have here that you want to check and also you want to check the hoses if it rubs anywhere against anything uh, if it touching anything it could have a hole in it mine are good but that's it and then when the vehicle sits for a while another thing is to check is if let's say this one is higher the space in here is much well it is kind of because it's not, not not level but see this right here how much space i have here and if i go here it's less but it's because the vehicle is not level but if it sits for a while and one side sags since it's all individually controlled you know you have a leak in that strut or somewhere in the way there and all the struts are marked on the block left right p is pressure that's coming from the pump like i said if it sits for a while you see one side sagging more than another one you have a leak because every single one of them is controlled by this little block there so if one side sags another is higher um, you gotta check well it's after it's pumped if it's une uneven you can go to tesla they'll level it out for you it's like 40 bucks they'll just calibrate the uh, suspension it might not be it might be out of calibration it does happen and the sensors go out of calibration so but once again if it sits for a while and the suspension on one wheel or a couple wheels goes you know low not like you left it it means you have a leak somewhere let's say this wheel went down then it's from here to this block and this one here I think is the blue hose you can actually see right here I think it's the blue one uh, you, you gotta check all this which is close the rear is gonna be harder but the fronts are easier because it's right here but yeah you got there's videos on how to disassemble all this this whole thing here the tub and they call it a tub but it's a frunk but yeah that's how you do it anyways if you have any questions um, leave me a comment maybe I could answer it they wanted to charge me 1500 bucks to replace this compressor and that block which is still working and that's their easy solution that's how they do all the time and on the older this is a 2013 that's very important actually on the older teslas you have to reset that computer if you go into service you go into wheel configuration and you change it in this case from 19 to 21 and i confirm it it's gonna happen next i'm sure you guys are aware of it's gonna reset itself you hear the little click that's the battery disconnect and it's resetting right now i did that yesterday it was not working the block was frozen that little block with the hoses was frozen because it has moisture in it 
and it probably still has some moisture in it but I hope it's it's not gonna freeze again because it you know all the air I, I drain all the air from the tank when I was replacing this so it might still have some moisture in it but eventually since I'm in Illinois right now and it's cold hoping it's not gonna freeze up but if it would I'll just warm it up the car could be driven this way I'm not recommending it you could damage your suspension but it could be driven like this uh, you will feel like a Snoop Dogg on his lowrider but you could do it I'm not recommending doing this but you can all right guys I hope this fix helps you out 